Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be combining Posca paint pens and watercolours on the same page in my sketchbook. And this sketchbook has been a great place for me to practice different ideas like this. It's specifically a mixed media sketchbook, so I can try all these different art experiments. And it's so much fun. Uh, last year I tried out combining Poscas and Copics, and it worked so well that I've, continu I've actually continued to try out different ideas with both of those mediums combined. So I've been really interested in seeing how Poscas would look alongside other mediums. So today I'm bringing out the watercolour paints. During last year's Inktober, I attempted a drawing of a koi carp for the first time, and it was actually on the first day of Inktober where the word prompt was fish, and I enjoyed adding all the different layers to it, with the water lilies, the lily pads, the surface of the water with the koi carp, and the rocks and the shadows underneath. And for this Inktober drawing, I was using Pigma Micron pens and Copics. So for this sketchbook page I'm working on in this video, I wanted to experiment with another idea like this, and I, I wanted to use the Poscas for a kind of a pop art style, with, with uh, an angled view of the water lilies and the lily pads and the rocks underneath, and then I wanted to contrast that with a watercolour koi carp. So my aim is that the solid opaque blocks of colouring and the shadows from the Poscas will hopefully make the koi carp stand out with all its different details that contrast the flatness of the Poscas. Uh, so two very different art supplies and I've been excited to see what it would look like. A big goal I have for this year is to continue experimenting with different mediums in this sketchbook. It already helped me a lot last year when I tried out a bunch of ideas that I wasn't familiar with, and so I was out of my comfort zone and it just felt like I made some really positive steps, which um, I I'm very proud of. And so this year I want to continue loosening up even more and I want to try out fun art experiments like this where I truly have no idea if this idea will work or not. <laughs> there was a time when that would have actually put me off even trying this and recording it, because I was too worried about the end result. And I think that was part of my problem. I, I spent so much time worrying about the end result that it ended up slowing down my process, and I ended up not working on as much as I wanted to. So I'm trying to step out of that, and this year I'm really trying to get out of that mindset and share more of my process and my thought process with you. I feel like I used to do that more, and I've really missed it. Along with trying out more art experiments this year, I definitely want to make sure I try more art supplies that I've never tried before, and I'm hoping to try out one of the art subscription boxes soon, because they seem so awesome. I just need to decide which one. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations, I would really appreciate it. So as you can see, for this drawing, I wanted to add all the Posca layers first, with the rocks at the bottom, all the shadows, the lily pads, and the water lily. And that's one process I really enjoy about Poscas, is that you have to spend a bit of time planning which layers you're going to add first. And I, I honestly really appreciate Poscas for that, because they're so different from all the other art supplies I'm used to, and it's just refreshing every time I use them. So generally, outlines and smaller details have to happen later on once I've added the larger blocks of paint.
For this drawing, I also didn't want to add outlines everywhere. I decided to add outlines underneath the lily pads and on the water lily itself, making it stand out on top of that grey stone background. When I'd completed all the Posca areas of this page, it was time to think about the watercolour, and I began by adding masking fluid to keep some of the scale details. With a small brush, I added the fluid to areas where I didn't want the paint to touch, and I, then I waited for that to dry. And then I began to add some watercolour washes to the koi first. For the base layer, I mixed a bit of intense blue and violet with black paint, and made sure it was very diluted at first. I continued to add more layers, building up some areas of shading around the koi's body, and then when it dried, I started adding patches of cadmium red and black. And I was lucky with my choice of colouring, because I, I think it ended up really complementing the colour of the water lily. Watercolour is definitely something that I want to improve on. It's been one of my goals for a while now, at least a couple of years, and I find it so much fun to use. I used to be much more scared about using it, uh, but since using this mixed media sketchbook where the paper doesn't warp too much, I've just been having so much fun with it. And once I was happy with the details on the koi's body, I decided to brush the masking fluid off and show the highlights underneath. Then I decided to use the same blue-violet colouring on the fins, building up layers there, and eventually I also added some highlighting with a white Posca pen. I really hope you enjoyed watching me work on this sketchbook page. I had a great time working on it. It was fun and it was different. And I think Poscas and watercolour can actually work together, which is awesome. So that's something that I'll keep in mind for future art ideas. And I've, I've started posting more behind the scenes photos while I'm working on these projects on my Patreon. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And I'll also be posting some reference photos I've taken myself and some other things there. Um, and be sure to let me know what you think of this project, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future art projects I could try. I really appreciate your suggestions, they help so much. If you want to see more art videos, then feel free to subscribe to this channel, and any likes or shares on this video are hugely appreciated. If you want to follow and support my art progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing okay, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you all soon.